Hi guys. Okay, we are now on to the automation portion of this uh, series that I am bringing you about um, how to link your existing planner, notebook, templates, etc. to Apple Calendar and more using shortcuts and then also automation. And I think this is quite possibly the best part because um, you might, I'm guessing a lot of people don't know this. So you know, whether you have a paper planner or you're using a digital planner, um, one of the things that people say frequently is, but I don't want to use those things because, you know, I use a digital calendar. I use my calendar on my phone, whatever it is, whether it be Google Calendar, Apple Calendar, whatever, because they're afraid of a loss of, um, you know, information, a loss of events. You know, you put something, you're at the doctor and you put appointments in your phone and then you get lost up and caught up in life and busy and you forget to put it in your planner and then you for, you just forget, right? Um, this, what I'm going to bring to you in the next couple videos is so that way it bridges that gap so you don't lose anything. Now, I understand that, you know, when you add an event, you can set a reminder, you can... Um, you know, get alerts or whatever. But even then, it's so, um, how many times, I mean, I, I don't know, I swipe out all the time, anytime, like if I have a shared calendar, I have a shared calendar with my family. And I know my daughter swipes out. And I know my husband swipes out. And like, yeah, they get an alert that it's been added. But if you're not putting it down somewhere, I don't know, it's just trust me, this is a, a nice backup. Okay. Now, um, I've been doing automation for a long time. And I have my oldest daughter to thank about that for that. So um, my daughter was going off to college, I think it was back after like a long winter break. And she came to me and she's like, I did something. And I'm like, what did you do? And she's like, you'll see. And I'm like, Oh, crap. <laughs> you know, what does that mean? And um, when I went and got ready for bed, that night I plugged in my iPad and when I plugged in my iPad, you know, when you plug in your iPad, it goes, it makes the little noise. And then it said, I love you in the Siri voice. And it scared the absolute shit out of me, honestly, <laughs> pardon my for swearing, but, um, it was so sweet. And she's like, that way, you know, you'll always have that when she like went back to college. And I was like, oh my God, I still have that. And she is graduated college. She's already in her second year of her big girl, big girl job. And I love that automation so much. And so then the next day I was like, what, what did you do? How did you do it? And how can I do that? And so that kind of started, uh, a journey into learning about these things because it's very cool. It's so easy to do. So um, what I am going to show you, the reason I'm, um, this is an overview video is because I just kind of really want to show you before we get into the how to do it. I'm trying to make videos a lot shorter, but two things that I use for automating that is essential. Um, and I worked really hard. It took me, I've been working on this for months, you guys. Um, I have my reminders sent to me every day. And I have um, newly created events sent to me every day. And that's my little backup so that I make sure whatever is created on my phone gets to my planner. Okay. And uh, it's just, uh, it's just a way to double check to make sure I've got everything. And so I have recently added to calendar and the way I have it set up and I'm actually, you can see, I have them, I get sent to me early in the morning every day. And that's how I have it set up. You can set things up however you want uh, once a week or whatever, but, um, we can get into the specifics and this, in the actual how to's, but so I use, um, reminders religiously. I'm constantly saying into my watch and into my phone, hey, remind me to remind me. I have one for my grocery list. I have one just general reminders. I have one, I actually have one for our vacation, uh, vacation list. Um, yeah. And that way, you know, as I'm wandering around the day when I'm not near a pen, piece of paper, et cetera, or my planner, iPad, I just speak all these things into my watch, it filters where it needs to go. And then, 
you know, um, most of the time I do forget to get it into my planner, which is why I rely super heavily on my morning little rundown. And then I kind of go through all my reminders and I put them where they need to go. And it's just, it's, it, it's fantastic. I highly recommend it because in my world, if it's not written down, it doesn't get done. It just doesn't. I forget. I need to have something on a list so I can check it off. I just, it's very hard to remember. It just is. <laughs> just like I have so much information. I don't know. I just, this is so it's such a great backup. And then I have it for my calendar. Now, the calendar, the way I'm going to teach you how to set it up is so that way it's newly created events, okay, get sent to you with that in that order, what was just created. So it's not in a time like, you know, the, the events don't come through like May 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. It comes, whatever I just created on my phone as an event will be the first thing I see. And that way I, every day I can reference, I reference that and I'll be like, what events are newest that I haven't already put in? And so like, this is a um, recently added to calendar. Uh, Rexham season three begins because we absolutely love uh, welcome to Rexham and um, I actually haven't put that in my planner yet so when I get this email I see this first I just created this a few days ago and then I can look at that and be like oh that's right I need to get that into my planner now I know I already put that in my planner so once I see the next event then I'm like oh yeah I've already put these things into my planner you know no biggie um, it's just a great reminder so I have it sent to me every day and it's just very, very helpful. And so that's what we're going to go into in the next couple of videos. And um, I highly recommend you try it, especially if you just, it's a nice backup option to make sure that you never forget anything again. And this actually also works even if you have a paper planner. I mean, because it's just creating a shortcut that's um, accessing your digital calendar and, you know, you don't need to have a good notes, you know, you don't need to be a digital planner person. So anyway, let's get into it. Thanks for watching. Now we're going to get into the specifics and I'm going to say reference the overview video. So this is that. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a great day. Bye.